Hey guys, I'm Kate from Carson Newman University. I'm the Director of Freshman Admissions here, and we're so glad that you're joining us for our first ever Facebook Live virtual tour. We know that with the COVID-19 health precautions taking place nationwide and even worldwide, that you're stuck at home, but we wanna still help you with your college search and selection process. So today, we're gonna to walk around campus and show you lots of our favorite spots and help you continue to learn more about Carson Newman. Um, please bear with us. This is brand new technology and the first time we've done a Facebook Live tour and it's a little overcast and is scheduled to rain. So bear with us, but it's gonna be a great time and I'm excited to show you my alma mater and my workplace home. Come on with me this way and we'll check out our first building. We're leaving Butler Welcome Center, which you saw in our opening shot. Uh, this building is meant specifically for new students. We have our Office of Financial Aid, our Office of Undergraduate Admissions, and our Office of Graduate and Adult Admissions in this building. So if you come for an in-person tour this fall, you'll check in here with us, you'll talk to your admissions rep, and if you're a senior, you'll even have a chance to speak with financial aid. Our office does everything from processing your applications to welcoming you, welcoming you on campus, giving you your very first scholarship, and helping you with the rest of the enrollment process. I'm gonna turn around because we have steps coming up, um, but we're gonna head towards the oldest building on campus so you can see the very first dorm we'll show you on campus today. If you're watching, please comment below if you have questions and we'll be happy to answer those for you. If our social media crew doesn't have the answers, they're gonna plug you in with your personal Carson Newman recruiter. Every student has a recruiter that's dedicated to them um, to help you with your admissions process, and that's based on where you live. So we wanna connect you with that person. If you haven't met your recruiter yet, just comment, meet my recruiter, and we'll be glad to connect you and get an email to you sometime this week. The first building we're gonna be at here is Sarah Swan Hall. This building is one of the oldest buildings on campus, built in 1904. This is an upperclassman girls dorm. Um, and it is the most popular girls dorm on campus. It's very selective to get into. So a lot of times they'll base the application acceptance on your GPA. So girls, if you wanna live in this beautiful and historic building, you'll need to keep your GPA up. As you'll notice, there is a balcony up top. There's lots of nice chairs and facility up there to have Bible study or study in the evenings. You'll also notice the rocking chairs on the front porch. Students and um, community members really enjoy those. A good tip for you about our dorm safety, this is especially for the parents out there, you can actually only access the dorm building you live in. All of our ID cards have a scan entry so they know you live in that dorm and you can get in. Otherwise, you have to go through our visitation policy. We're gonna continue walking this way um, to learn a little more about campus. Like I said, Sarah Swan is the oldest building on campus. Um, what's really cool about that is it, it was around during Civil War times. Um, there's a Civil War cemetery behind the building. So there's some culture and history about the region here in Carson Newman's campus. Um, as we walk this way, we're gonna go to the newest part of campus, paired right next to the oldest part of campus. We have two main academic buildings down here, um, past these double sidewalks. The double sidewalks have a building on either side. Bly Poteet is on the left and Ted Russell Hall is on the right. Bly Poteet contains all of our family consumer science majors. There's lots of different things in this department. Everything from teaching the family consumer sciences in a high school or middle school um, to being an early childhood educator, which would be pre-K through third grade, as well as interior design, fashion design and merchandising, and food and nutrition and dietetics. There's a ton of different things you can do in those majors, um, and several of our students really enjoy the facilities. We actually have state-of-the-art kitchens, so if you're interested in nutrition, dietetics, and those areas, you can actually use the kitchens on site. We also have state-of-the-art interior design labs and fashion merchandising labs, so you'll get hands-on experience from our very own campus. In Ted Russell Hall, um, named after Ted Russell, um, the car salesman from Knoxville who owns several different award-winning dealerships, he actually was a Carson Newman business major and came back to help us build this facility so that all of our business students could have a great experience on campus. This includes um, a real-time lab for all of our accounting and finance majors to work in. We also have areas such as marketing, uh, sports management, general management, accounting, uh, finance and economics. So lots of different majors you can select in our business program. We also have several graduate programs um, in our business building. So if you're interested in an MBA, please hit us up. You can comment below MBA and we'll get you information about that as soon as possible. You'll notice that our campus is not just focused on academics, but also on community. Right here in the center space, we do a lot during our orient orientation week for new students and our welcome week for our current students. We get everyone together and have a great big party. We'd love to show you a clip about our Welcome Week video. Enjoy.
We're back and we're here at the TAR Music Center. Our campus music program does a wonderful job providing lots of different music experiences for students. We have traditional music opportunities and we also have a brand new Bachelors of Arts in Worship Music. So if you're interested in any of those areas, this is a great building that you would spend a ton of time in here at Carson Newman. We have both instrumental and uh, vocal performance opportunities for you. We also have several different ensembles and you don't have to be a music major to be involved. So if you decide you really would love to be a teacher but you're passionate about music, you can definitely do that and still be involved. If you're interested, comment music below. and We'll be sure to get you some follow-up information later today. Um, our music building is really neat because half of it is built for instrumental and that has a separate sound um, opportunity for it. And the other half is for vocal. So they're separated out, but you can easily access both of them. If you're passionate both we have a place for you if you're passionate one or the other we have a place for you too let us know how we can talk to you more about our music programs if, as we go this way you'll see the baker building this is where our rotc program is housed um, we actually have one of the nation's best rotc and nursing conglomerate programs in the world in the country so we place a ton of our students from nursing majors in rotc fields if that sounds like something you're interested in we would love to talk to you more just comment rotc info please below um, also in that building is our master's in counseling program and our undergraduate programs in history and political science. If you're interested in any of those areas, we would love to tell you more and your recruiter would be glad to help you. We're gonna head out this way and to walk towards the wellness center. Our wellness center is actually included in your tuition and fees. So a lot of our um, opportunities there have no additional cost. We find that it's really important that students have a safe place to talk about their feelings as they transition into college. One of the hardest things for students to understand as they move into the college world is the difference in their relationships. As our president often says, at home you live with your parents and visit your friends, but in college you're transitioning to visiting your parents and living with your friends. And that's a really big change. So it's important that we have services to help you. Not only do we have both group and individual counseling sessions for you, we also have a relaxation room. So if you're just overwhelmed at midterms and need a place to rest and collect your thoughts, you can do that here in the Wellness Center. We also have an on-campus nurse who's here every weekday for our students. We have a nurse practitioner who's here three days a week and a doctor who's here and has a practice locally one day a week. So there's lots of services for your students right here. You'll also see our Burnett Residence Hall just past our um, counseling and wellness office here. Burnett is our freshman girls dorm. Um, it is an older dorm that has great closets, girls, so that's my favorite thing about this building. We're going to show you a little bit more about our residence life experience here on Carson Newman campus. This is from one of our other dorms that we'll talk about later called Alumni, but it shows you a lot about living on campus as a girl. So check out this episode of CN Cribs starring our friend Lauren. Hi there, I'm Lauren. I'm a junior. I live in Alumni Hall. Let's come check out my crib. Welcome to the lobby. This is the TV room. We've got a TV. We've got some pillows. It may look just like a big box to you, but inside, there's nothing. Check out my room. coffee a day, so I can't always run the maples, but this little baby gets the job done. I'm a worry-free zone. It's good. So the theme of my room is actually missions-based, and so we've got the world over here. It's colorful and fun. And then all around here is my prayer wall and encouragements. And then this is from India. This is a place I want to go, and this is from Haiti, which is a place I want over Christmas break. It's almost ready. This is my interrogation lamp. Where were you last night? He loves you as a father loves his daughter. That one's for you. Well, thanks for checking out my crib. See you next time. Hey y'all, we 
are back and we hope you enjoyed that video talking a little bit about residence life here at Carson Newman. I'm here with my friends from our campus ministries team. We have director Chad and associate director Mary Lee. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah, so campus ministries is a huge part of Carson Newman. Um, as a Christian university, our students often ask a little bit about what that means. Now, I know you guys have some um, requirements for our students that we that you all serve students in that capacity and then also some opportunities for students to get engaged further with their faith. So let's start a little bit with the requirements. Can you all talk a little bit about um, community life and worship? Sure. So we, uh, here at Carson Newman, we have a community life and worship program, or also known as CLW. And so part of that is community worship. And so every Tuesday morning, uh, we get to meet students, faculty, staff. We all meet together. We worship together. Uh, and, and it's a great opportunity just to be able to uh, share in our faith. Sometimes we'll have uh, different pastors come in. We'll have different student groups, uh, other groups that will come in and help lead us in music, musical worship. And so we do that every Tuesday morning from 930 to 1020. Uh, you actually don't have to have class during that time. Uh, we break and be able to worship together. And so uh, that's a really great way to be able to, uh, to worship together. We also have community life and so these are events that may uh, be say a uh, SGA debate. It may also be uh, a special student speaker. It may be a student play. Whatever it may be, uh, you have plenty of opportunities to be able to get your CLW requirements in and that's important to, to know. You, it is a graduation requirement and, and so it's important that each semester you get those 10 in. Awesome, thank you so much. You'll also offer a lot of opportunities for students who wanna engage their faith further than those 10 required um, events each semester. Can you talk to us a little bit about those opportunities? Yes, absolutely. So Chad and I serve as more than just the people who track your chapels or your CLWs. <laughs> we also are your campus ministers. And one of the ways that we meet that need is through a ministry called Baptist Collegiate Ministries here on campus that is student led. We have weekly worship services, Bible studies, different ways for you to get engaged in the community and serve in the community, as well as our incredible spots trips. And Chad is going to tell you a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so our missions program here at Carson Newman is called SPOTS, a special projects other than summer. And so for us, that means our fall and spring break, as well as May term mission opportunities and mission experiences. And uh, these are amazing ways to get involved, to share our own faith. Uh, here at Carson Newman, we want, to, we want you to be able to grow inwardly, but you also want to take that inward growth and then go outward with it and share uh, the good news and, and faith of, of Jesus Christ. And so uh, to be able to do that, we go all across the country and even some international options. And so we have, um, uh, probably 10 to 12 different options per year uh, and that allows students to go. We have scholarships for students to go. We do different ministries, different price points, different locations that we are able to serve all across the country and again the world. And so uh, actually Mary Lee, I believe she went as a student every single year that she was here. And we say that one uh, one way to be able to, to express your faith is to do spots. And so we are hoping that, uh, that that you'll be able to get involved. And so rather this is your first time and, and putting your, uh, your foot into the mission world or maybe you've done it a whole lot we have something for everyone and so we want uh, to provide students that and in fact uh, last year we did a pretty amazing opportunity went to Nepal and we got to serve the base of Mount Everest and so you're going to get the opportunity to see just a little bit of, of their experience and so maybe this can be you uh, next year or in the years to come. What's up guys Brian Brown here filmmaker in Nashville Tennessee Carson Newman alum uh, I got the awesome opportunity to go on a spot trip with the uh, Carson Newman students and a couple of the staff and we're heading to Nepal to hike the base of Mount Everest to give some of the Nepalese people some supplies. It's gonna be awesome, I'm about to head to Jeff City um, and then we're gonna take a bus out tomorrow, go to Atlanta and fly out to Nepal. So let's do it. Guys, we're about to just hit the plane. We're about to go up in the Kathmandu. You know what I'm saying? You guys ready? Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Just where, are we, where are we at now? We're in, uh, where are we at right now? Kathmandu. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Just landed in uh, Kathmandu on the way to Lukla. Got seven hours to leave the hotel. It's gonna be an early morning.
What's up guys? Um, we just got to the hotel like 40 minutes ago. I just now finally got settled in. It's, I think, 3.30 right now, 3.26 a.m. and we are leaving by 6.45 a.m. Gonna get up in a couple hours at 5.30, see if I can get some sleep. Let's do it. Pretty good. We just finished breakfast, coming out here. And dang, man, this place looks cool. So, we're about to head out, take that small plane. The weather looks like it will be decent enough to fly it. It's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Aladdin or something. This is what it looks like to have a buttload of camera gear. I think we got a pretty massive trek ahead of us, but I think it's going to be probably the best time of all of our lives combined. Yeah. We just got two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, feeling good. We're about to go to Lukla. We just landed in Lukla. Now we are about to start trekking after we have some tea and get ready with our Sherpas. Smooth landing actually here at Lukla. Um, had a little turbulence. Other than that, it was fine. Wonderful day. All right, about to go on the trail. I'm a little loaded down more than I want than I want to be, but we'll survive. We'll be okay. On the trail we're heading to the school up the mountain to give them some supplies we have three stops we're stopping at a dentist a hospital and a school all three of those places were given supplies to help the people in these remote villages so what's this mountain called uh remember this mountain Tom circle do you know how tall it is um it is over there in the six six thousand wow. meters it's crazy. Thomas, how you feeling, brother? A bit tired, but ready for another three hours. I'm living my best life. Okay, a little tired. So currently, probably the tallest bridge I'll ever be on. <laughs> Whoa! It is windy for sure. Oh. All right, we're about to uh, be at our next city, and wow, let me tell you, this view is just unreal. There's where we're going. Uh, we've hiked many miles. Definitely the longest hike today. So, glad to finally be here. We are currently at our lodge in Namche. We just had probably the hardest climb of the trip any of us have ever experienced, most likely. Yeah, it was, it was pretty gnarly. 
Uh, definitely ready for some dinner, but it's been a good day. Good morning. This is, I don't know, Saturday, maybe Sunday. I think it's Sunday. Sunday at 6 a.m., March 3rd. Um, we're in Numcha still. Got home last night. Uh, that's that video when we first got here. Pretty much a couple hours after that, I went to sleep. We had dinner, it was good, I was tired, and here's my view from my room this morning. We made it up to this observation point to see Everest, but it's a little cloudy. So the main building is right here, this green one, and that's where the headmaster's office is. And then we'll kind of stage off of this sitting area. And some will go teach, some will deliver supplies, some will play games. And we'll rotate because they are on a rotating schedule. So you might be working with young kids at some point and then have older kids in the afternoon. Their school days are different than ours. And they leave for lunch and they go in and they have lunch in the village. And the hospital is the other direction. And so the monastery is up this way. All right, so me and Thomas been hiking in front of everybody. Oh, yeah. We're on the way to... Somewhere near the school. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere towards the school. Everybody's down there. And check this view out. Wow. <sighs> I'm ready for the next, you know, few hours of uphill. Let's just say that. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're on top of the mountain in the clouds. Almost to our next city. How you doing, Thomas? Thomas is in a short sleeve shirt. I don't know what's going on. It's freezing out here. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Putting a jacket on? Uh, probably about to. Yep. Oh, I'm not, it's not getting that cold yet. It's how fast the weather changes. going to the hospital and the school to deliver supplies. How do you feel? I'm feeling great right now. The altitude is no joke. Well, we just made it down to where we're staying and hopefully getting about to get tea time and go deliver supplies to the hospital. Um, we're kind of dropping off and sorting and organizing some of the supplies that we brought up. Uh, we just met kind of the head guy, head doctor here. Um, we got stuff like bandages, uh, we have some optometry equipment, we have uh, vitamins, uh, hygiene stuff, just a, an assortment of things. We're kind of unloading and helping them out and uh, then we're going to kind of see if there's any areas for us to serve them over here. Alright guys, we're hiking down. How's everybody feeling? Good. We just saw some incredible views. Now we're headed back to eat some breakfast, rejuvenate. <laughs> then we're gonna go to the school, hang out with some kids. It's gonna be a fun time. Madison, have anything to say? <laughs> no. Just don't fall. Oh! <laughs> Almost fell. Oh gosh.
everybody. We're about to leave Kundi and I think we're gonna go to Nanche. I think it's gonna take us about an hour and a half or so. We've got a little bit of snow left on the ground, but it shouldn't be too bad. You'd like to take a big You'd pray, yeah. All right, we took a uh, cool path um, down a different trail, the Secret Sherpa Trail, some would say. Now we're here at the bridge. We are currently on our way back to Lukla this morning. <laughs> we uh, spent the night in Monjo, pretty swanky little hotel. We've been hiking for like four hours, three and a half. Uh, we have like an hour and a half left to go to Lukla, and then we'll be spending the night in Lukla and then flying out tomorrow. <laughs> back to Nashville tired but that trip was amazing one of the best trips if not the best trip I've ever been on um, it was great getting to serve the Nepalese people and just see the Himalayas and hang out with awesome people it was a beautiful time Brian Brow last time signing off Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching that video of one of our most recent um, international spots trips. We're here at the Butler Blanc building. This is one of the other oldest buildings on campus. It was our old student activity center. It has been revamped into a gym where our first year in conference services offices lives. They manage everything from current student events, summer camps, to new student orientation, which all of our new Eagles participate in leading up to the start of classes each fall. Uh, they also have a rock climbing wall and they offer several outdoors classes. On the other side of the building, we have what we call hammock city which is where students can tie up their hammocks to rest or study throughout the day on days much nicer than this one i also want to show you another building on campus called the warren art center um, this building is right here it's actually an old science lab that's been converted into studio space for all of our art students we have several different art majors that you can participate in here at carson newman everything from art education to painting and drawing to graphic design to two different degrees in photography both an associate's and a bachelor's degree in photography we do offer a dark room for our students and then seniors have the choice of um, asking for studio space that they can work in by themselves and decorate with their own artwork so that's a great opportunity for our students to have space to practice their craft continue painting drawing working on graphic design um, we also have all of our art seniors do a senior exhibit where they can showcase and even sell some of their art it's a great opportunity for campus to come together and support some of our seniors in their last semester here on campus this building over here is the stokely memorial building it has two main purposes the top floor is where dining services lives so not only do we have some banquet halls in there we also have our um, main cafeteria which is buffet style students can go in there um, throughout the day several different times um, to go and eat all of our freshmen are required to have the unlimited meal plan which allows them to figure out what their food schedule is going to look like and make sure that they're eating enough while they're here on campus Below the cafeteria is our education facility. What I love about this building is that it's sort of set up like an elementary or middle school with main hallways with classrooms off each end. We also have a computer lab specifically for our education majors and a library specific for our education majors. So it's a great opportunity. All of our education students start shadowing in classrooms as early as their sophomore year. And we'll do many opportunities with student teaching, including a final semester of only student teaching. So they have lots of experience to be placed in a classroom after graduation. We have well over 50 
15 different areas that you can be licensed to teach. If you're interested in teaching in Tennessee or in any of the surrounding states, just comment, I wanna be a teacher below and we'll get you more information. We're gonna walk across the street here uh, towards our Maddox Student Activity Center. As we walk, you will probably notice there's a small house right behind the cafeteria and education building. This house is our Department of Public Safety. It's really important, parents especially, that you know that we prioritize your student safety on our campus. We do have security guards that are on campus all night, all day, so 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but we also partner with the Jefferson City Police Department. So we have access to a police officer every day, every minute of the day, who walks and drives around campus to make sure that our students are safe. They can be reached at the touch of a button. In fact, we even have a campus app called Live Safe that parents and students, faculty and staff, can all have access to. It allows for weather alerts, and in the case, in the case of an emergency, we can send out an urgent response to our students. This is the Maddox Student Activity Center. This is where lots of our student activities take place. I'd love to take you in and show you around for just a minute. In here we have athletic offices, so if you're interested in playing a college sport, Carson Newman is an NCAA Division II school, and we offer over 19 different varsity sports, meaning you can get involved in a lot of ways. All of our coaches have offices here or in the Ken Sparks Athletic Center behind this building. Over here you'll see our Holt Field House, which is where our basketball games, volleyball games, and many other campus activities take place. Behind me, you'll see our pool. Not only is this for our award-winning swim team, we do have a men's and um, women's swim team at Carson Newman, but it's also for students to use for free swim times or for classes like kayaking, which need to take place in the water. We also offer a scuba diving class occasionally, and that takes place here too. We've also done some really neat campus activities like watching Jaws in the water here, so there's lots to do right here at the pool. If you were here, you could smell that chlorine smell. If you look down the hall, you'll see we do have our bookstore. You can buy all of your textbooks here, and we do price matching as well. Um, our bookstore manager, Mr. Bill Ellis, is a great assistant to students. So if you're looking for your books this fall, he'll be a great help to you. You'll also notice that we have a Chick-fil-A sign down there. We do have Chick-fil-A, and you can use your Eagle Bucks, which are a part of your meal plan. You can spend them dollar for dollar um, to buy Chick-fil-A, or later you'll see Maple's Cafe in our library and that's where you can buy coffee or sandwiches on campus. So those are a great resource to you. In this building are lots of our other student activities. We have over 70 clubs and organizations. Two of my favorites are the Eagle, Angler, Eagle Anglers Fishing Team and the Best Buddies Program. Check out this video that shows you a great day that they spent together.
see the Chambliss Building. That's where our psychology and sociology majors are located. In sociology, we have everything from human services to a general sociology degree to social entrepreneurship. In psychology, you can go the general route or you can focus more on research. Lots of our students choose to do a psychology major here at Carson Newman. It's very easy to double major with other areas. So if you're interested in art therapy or music therapy, it's a great way to have a more research side degree with your creative passions. It's definitely one of our most um, popular and growing majors on campus. As we come this way, you're gonna notice some of our athletic fields. First up is our tennis courts. Like I said earlier, we have about 19 different varsity sports on campus, so there's a lot to get involved with. When teams aren't using them for practice or matches or games, um, you're welcome to use them as an everyday student if you're interested in them. We also have a really robust intramural program, and so we'll have intramural sports as well as intramural activities such as Connect Four tournaments or things like that. Back here, you'll notice that we also have our softball field. Behind that is our baseball field. Um, and there's a soccer field behind the MSAC as well as Burke Tar Stadium where our football games are. We have a great student uh, support group called the Mossy Creek Maniacs. They paint up for different sporting events and come out and show their school spirit. So if you're interested in that or involved in anything at the high school level, we would love to invite you to join that when you come to Carson Newman. Behind me, you'll see a, a smaller brick building. That is our nursing building. Nursing is one of the top majors here at Carson Newman. We uh, send a lot of nurses out. We've actually had a 100% placement rate um, in the past several years. So we're really, really proud of that. Our nursing students do get to work in our cadaver lab, which is housed in the science building behind me here. Our science building includes everything from the pre-health majors um, to math, physics, pre-engineering, other pre-health programs, uh, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, you name it, and it's in this building. There's just past this an upperclassman girls dorm that we saw Lauren in earlier called alumni. There's one other dorm we want to be sure to show you on campus, and that's our largest guys dorm. That's Heritage right back there. Um, all of our freshman males live in that dorm as well as several upperclassmen. Again, it's the largest dorm on our campus. We want to show you a little bit about dorm life and heritage with this video, another episode of CN Cribs starring our friend Joe. Hey everyone, my name's Joe Mixon. Come on in and see my crib. So I gotta get you every time, am I right? Welcome to Heritage. So I uh, play a little ping pong here. So you got a quarter? So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of sitting space, a lot of areas for people to sit. I'm uh, a lot of people like to hang out with me. A lot of my friends are here right now, but I find that like when I pull this light switch, I mean they all come down here running. The fire department even comes. It's awesome. Uh, this is the TV room. There's a TV in this room. We've got the uh, Heritage Kitchen. We've got a stove, We've got a fridge. So if you want to make things hot, you go there. If you want to keep things cold, check her out. Come on outside to the courtyard. This is the uh, courtyard. a lot of places to hang out here, fire pit, grill, We've got a basketball hoop. I like to come out here and sharpen up on my skills. Right here we got my own personal crib, so uh, you can uh, check that out, but you can't come in, so check you later. We're here on Henderson Hill. We hope you enjoyed that little tour of Heritage. Um, Henderson Humanities is the largest academic building on our campus. This houses all of the humanities, everything from English, linguistics, foreign languages, religion, philosophy, communication, film, and theater are all housed here in this building. Uh, when you get inside this building, there's actually two different theaters for our theater majors and our film students to use. So the larger theater is a traditional theater called Gentry. The smaller is called Phoenix, and it's actually a black box theater where many of our senior theater majors host their own productions at some point during their senior year. We also host our yearly film festival in that black box theater. So it's used for a lot of different reasons. 
Um, and every student takes religion courses here at Carson Newman, Old Testament and New Testament as part of our liberal arts core. Those courses are held in this building. So if you have questions about those courses, comment below and an admissions recruiter will reach out to you sometime this week with those answers. This lawn is not just used for academics. There's lots of different activities that take place out here. In fact, we have a video to show you all the fun things we do at homecoming each year right here on Henderson Hill. Enjoy. of Henderson Hill. We hope you enjoyed that video about our homecoming festivities. There's lots that happens right over here too. The Irie or Erie is a place where we have lots of different concerts on campus for things like FCA, um, other organizations on campus, different events that we have including movie on the lawn. So there's a lot that happens right out here for student engagement. You'll also notice we're at the back of the library. We have Maples Cafe here which is basically our version of a coffee shop and sandwich shop all lumped into one. It offers great study space and community space for our students. As we head over, we're going to talk to one of my good friends, our co-director of student success, Amy Humphrey. So I'm going to make sure to hand Amy this microphone as we come up so that you all can hear her. She has lots of good things to tell you. The library has a lot of resources for students, but one of the most important ones is our Student Success Center. Amy, thank you for joining Hi, us today. You. Yeah, awesome. So Amy, like I said, is the co-director of Student Success. Her office does a lot of different things to help students on campus. Amy, can you sort of give us a rundown of the services you offer? Sure. We like to think that we are a one-stop shop for the entire campus. Um, we offer lots of different support services for our students, uh, mainly academic resources. We have a tutoring center, we have the writing center, um, our study hall is housed on our floor, and then we have seven academic advisors that are here to help students with any kind of questions they may have about academics. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about what your uh, department offers for our student athletes. Okay, um, as you know, we have a lot of student athletes at Carson Newman, and we offer one-on-one uh, -on -one advising for them, and we also offer uh, SNAP, which is our study hall specifically for student athletes. Um, it's just a really geared toward our freshman athletes to help them get academic to college, help them get sure. used to studying, um, and they are also able to take, uh, take advantage of the resources that we offer on our floor. Awesome. So one of the things I took advantage of as a Carson Newman student was the Career Development Center. Yes. Um, I know Mr. Workman runs that and does mm -hmm. a great job of preparing students for their um, post Carson Newman experiences, or if right. you're me, your continued Carson Newman right. experience. Right. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit about some of the things he does for sure. students? Sure. Mr. Workman is very busy. He works with all of our students. Um, freshmen and sophomores, he really focuses in on helping them find the right major and then, you know, what that might look like as far as a career that goes along with that. And then our juniors and seniors, he really works with them on finding that uh, internship that might be appropriate or, uh, you know, as they prepare to get out of here, um, you know, how to do a resume, to do an interview, the whole entire job search. That's really his goal. Our goal for students is to graduate from Carson Newman and to be successful, and we think that career development is an, a really important part of that. Awesome. So there's one other thing I took advantage of as a student to help me be successful, and that um, was the study programs that you all offer in the evenings here mm -hmm. in the library. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about sure. those? Sure. We offer tutoring for our students. It's free. It doesn't cost a student anything. We have about 14 different um, peer tutors who are available, and we do a lot of our uh, 100, 200 level general education type classes, um, and it's available from 6 to 9, Monday through Thursday. It's uh, just a great opportunity for students who are um, not sure about a concept or just need some advice on how to study for a class to come and see students who've had those classes before. Um, it's just a great opportunity for them to get some extra assistance. Awesome. Thank you so You're much, so Amy, welcome. and thank sure. you for everything your office sure. does. So, Absolutely. As you can tell, we really care about student success here at Carson Newman. Um, we actually have a great video to show you about one of our most successful recent graduates. Enjoy. Here at Carson Newman. Okay, cool. 
I'm Jared Belcher. I graduated in 2014 from Carson Newman University and since then had the opportunity to serve as the creative director of a local church. In, in being a creative director, I get to make videos and graphic design and marketing all the time, but I love learning. In fact, that's one of the reasons I chose Carson Newman as my school. And so what I have been able to do uh, just in my free time in the workplace is to make videos that are educational about space. And I make these videos for kids specifically, so especially like students around middle school and high school age, um, just to show how big and amazing our cosmos is and to help them understand you know, our place in it. So it's really cool that Carson Newman just through the relationships that I had there and the, the love for learning that was cultivated in me there um, has really carried forward now, you know, several years after graduation and I have the opportunity to take the skills that I've now developed in the workplace and to do something really fun and creative that I hope has an impact on some people. So I'm so glad you all got to see that video and see what one of our graduates is doing. If you enjoyed that or would like to know more about what some of our graduates are doing, make sure you comment below. We'll be glad to connect with you on that. As we head out of the library and up the main sidewalk of campus, you're going to see the Fight Administration Building over here. That's where our president and provost offices are located, so our upper administration for campus. We also have there the registrar's office, so if you want to add or drop a class or have questions about your transcript, that's the place to go. Um, we also have our student accounts office, so if you have questions about billing or your student account, that's where you would visit. Um, we're going to cross the street here and head back to the Butler Welcome Center. While we cross the street, I wanted to make sure to mention that you should definitely like us here on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and watch our YouTube channel for additional videos about our campus and our campus life. As we head back into the Butler Welcome Center, I do want to remind you all that our application is free, there's no essay, and it's completely online. You should be able to fill it out in no more than 20 or 30 minutes. If you're a senior watching this, there's still time. We're rolling admissions and we'd be glad to receive your application sometime this week. If you're worried about getting your transcripts and test scores to us, no worries. We will help you reach out to your school to get those during this challenging time. If you're a junior, your application will open in August during your senior year, usually at the end of the August, end of August or beginning of September. Again, that application is free, requires no essay, and is completely online and digital. Just go to admissions.cn.edu slash apply. Come on in with me. We're going to go back into Butler Welcome Center. As I mentioned before, this building does house our admissions and financial aid team, as well as graduate admissions. If you are interested in finishing your education or getting a master's degree, let us know that below and we'll connect you with our graduate admissions team. Come on in. As I mentioned, this is where you would come for a campus visit. So if you plan to rejoin us this fall for an in-person tour, we would love to shake your hand, get you a t-shirt, and get you an information packet. So please feel free to join us this fall. You'll come in here and check in with our wonderful front desk workers. Um, they would love to meet you and assist you with that. While we're here, I want to make sure you have time to talk with financial aid. My good friend, the executive director of financial aid, Danette Seal, is here to tell you a little bit about the FAFSA and financial aid here at Carson Newman. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for viewing with us today. As Kate said, my name is Danette Seal. I'm the executive director of financial aid here at Carson Newman. We want to make sure that you to let you know that we're here to help address any answer, questions that you have for this upcoming fall. Please feel free to email those to financialaid at cn.edu. You may also call at our direct line at 865-471-3247. Now, if there's juniors watching with us, please drop us a comment and let us know that you're there. We'd love to be able to answer any questions questions you have for your upcoming fall 21-22 enrollment. Please mark your calendars if you're a junior for October 1st, 2020, as that's when the free application for federal student aid, otherwise known as the FAFSA, will open up for you to file for your upcoming award year. Uh, once you add Carson Newman to your FAFSA, use the code 003481 and we'll begin issuing uh, financial aid notifications this coming spring for you. Now for the incoming freshmen that may be viewing with us, please also drop a comment and let us know that you're there too. We want to be able to answer any questions that you have. If you're an incoming freshman, please know that your financial aid notifications have been sent to your home address. If you have not received one, please be sure to look at your FAFSA, make sure you list Carson Newman to receive it, add us with the code 003481 or if you've not even filed your FAFSA yet there is still plenty of time to do so. We will be issuing aid notifications all the way up until the fall semester so we look forward to assisting you and answering any questions that you have. 
Your admissions staff and financial aid are here to address any concerns you have. Many of you that are looking to enroll this coming fall may also have concerns regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Please be assured that if you are experiencing financial difficulties or expect to experience financial difficulties in the months ahead, we're here to help. While our office will need specific documents from you regarding your individual circumstances, please feel free to ask any questions that you have to financialaid.cn.edu. Again, we want to be able to address any concerns you have regarding affordability for this next year. So if you have an expected loss of income, a family losing their job, or if you've lost your income, please let us know. We're here to help. Uh, thank you for allowing me to speak with you today. Uh, we hope you stay safe and healthy and look forward to seeing you on our campus this fall and welcome you into our Eagle family. Thank you, Kate. Thank you so much, Jeanette, for joining us today um, and for all you and your team do to make Carson Newman an affordable option. Y'all, we are so thankful that you joined us for our first ever Facebook Live virtual tour. Um, we want to show you why you should still visit this fall in person to check out campus. Fall is my definitely my favorite time of campus um, experience. So come back then. We want to show you just exactly why you've got to see this place in this next video.